ओके বাংলাদেশী স্টুডেন্টস ইউনিয়ন মালয়েশিয়া তথা বিএসইএম কর্তৃক আয়োজিত আমাদের আজকের এই বিশেষ ফেস্ট কি রকম ফেস্ট সেটা হচ্ছে আমাদের সফট স্কিল ফেস্ট এই বিশেষ ফেস্টে আপনাদের সকলকে স্বাগত জানাচ্ছি আমি মোহাম্মদ এনামুল হক ইমন ইউনিভার্সিটি টেকনোলজি মালয়েশিয়ায় কেমিক্যাল ইঞ্জিনিয়ারিং এ পড়াশোনা করছি আমি জেনারেল সেক্রেটারি বাংলাদেশী স্টুডেন্টস ইউনিয়ন মালয়েশিয়ার এবং একই সাথে আজকের প্রোগ্রামের কোঅর্ডিনেটর আমাদের সাথে আমরা যাদের সাথে এই প্রোগ্রামটা অ্যারেঞ্জ করছি আমাদের কো অর্গানাইজার হিসেবে আছেন বাংলাদেশি স্টুডেন্টস অ্যাসোসিয়েশন অফ ইউপিএম ইউনিভার্সিটি পত্রিকা মালয়েশিয়া অর্থাৎ বিএসএ ইউপিএম আমি সকলকে ধন্যবাদ জানাচ্ছি আমাদের মধ্যে অলরেডি উপস্থিত হয়েছেন আমাদের কিছু আলোচক আমাদের সাথে উপস্থিত হয়েছে আমাদের সম্মানিত সভাপতি জহিরুল ইসলাম প্রেসিডেন্ট বাংলাদেশি স্টুডেন্টস ইউনিয়ন মালয়েশিয়া অ্যাস ওয়েল এস বাংলাদেশি স্টুডেন্টস অ্যাসোসিয়েশন অফ ইউপিএম আমাদের সাথে যুক্ত হয়েছেন আপনারা যাদের জন্য আমাদের আজকের এই প্রোগ্রাম সেই আপনারা আপনাদের সকলকে জানাচ্ছি অভিনন্দন আমাদের প্রোগ্রামের পক্ষ থেকে আপনারা অনেকেই জানেন ইউএম হচ্ছে এমন একটি প্রতিষ্ঠান যারা সামাজিক সাংস্কৃতিক ক্যারিয়ার এবং স্কিল ডেভেলপমেন্ট প্রোগ্রাম থেকে শুরু করে ছাত্রদের জন্য লাগে ছাত্রদের প্রয়োজন নিয়ে যে কোনো ধরনের প্রোগ্রাম আমরা অ্যারেঞ্জ করে থাকি আপনারা হয়তো কিছুদিন আগে আমাদের এক সেমিনারে উপস্থিত হয়েছিলেন শিক্ষা ব্যবস্থা নিয়ে আমরা প্রোগ্রাম করেছিলাম আমরা আরটি লেখা নিয়ে প্রোগ্রাম করেছিলাম এরকম আরো রয়েছে আমাদের বিভিন্ন উদ্যোগ সেই উদ্যোগগুলো সম্পর্কে আমরা কিছুক্ষণ পরে হয়তো ব্রিফ করব আজকে আমরা প্রথমে একটা ইনফরমাল সেশন আমাদের উই উইল হ্যাভ অনলি টেন মিনিট ইনফরমাল সেশন ফর টেন মিনিটস অনলি দেন আওয়ার প্রপার সেশন উইল স্টার্ট তো আমাদের এই ইনফরমাল সেশনে যেটা থাকবে সেটা হচ্ছে আমরা মোটামুটি একটা ব্রিফ দিব আজকের প্রোগ্রামে এবং সাথে সাথে আমাদের ইনোগ্রাল স্পিচ থাকবে তারপরে আমাদের মেন প্রোগ্রাম শুরু হবে তো আমি আপনাদেরকে আবারও বলছি দুই একটা ঘোষণা দিয়ে দিচ্ছি সেটা হচ্ছে প্রথম বিষয় আপনারা আমাদের প্রোগ্রামের সৌন্দর্যের স্বার্থে আমাদের সকলের সুবিধার্থে যারা যেখানে আছেন মিউট করে রাখবেন সবসময় আমাদের যারা আলোচক থাকবেন তারা আনমিউট করবেন এবং হোস্ট যিনি থাকবেন তিনি আনমিউট করবেন আরেকটা ঘোষণা দেওয়া লাগবে সেটা হচ্ছে ভিডিও ব্যাপারে অনেকে জিজ্ঞেস করেন যে আমরা কি ভিডিও অন রাখবো নাকি অফ রাখবো সেই আগামীকালকে বাংলাদেশ সময় সকাল নয়টা এবং মালয়েশিয়ার সময় সকাল এগারোটায় শুরু হবে আবার ঠিক তিন সাড়ে তিন ঘন্টার সেশন হবে আজকে থাকবেন তিনজন আলোচক এবং আগামীকালকে থাকবেন তিনজন আলোচক আমাদের আলোচকরা আপনারা অলরেডি লক্ষ্য করেছেন হয়তো যে ম্যাক্সিমামই হচ্ছে যে বিভিন্ন প্রতিষ্ঠানের সিইও বা এমডি এই করে যায় লোকজন তো আশা করি তাদের কাছ থেকে আমরা কিছু বাস্তব ধর্মী দিক নির্দেশনা পাবো যেগুলো আমাদের কেরিয়ারকে ডেভেলপ করতে আমাদের স্কিলকে ডেভেলপ করতে হেল্প করবে ইনশাল্লাহ এরপর আরেকটা ঘোষণা আছে সার্টিফিকেট বিষয়ে আমরা যারা আপনারা রেজিস্ট্রেশন করেছেন এবং যারা জয়েন করতেছেন আমরা চাই যারা জয়েন করেছে তাদের সকলকে সার্টিফিকেট প্রোভাইড করতে এই ক্ষেত্রে আপনাদের সামান্য একটা কাজ করতে হবে সেটা হচ্ছে কি দুইটা বিষয় এক হচ্ছে প্রত্যেকটা আলোচনায় অংশ নিতে হবে তো আজকে এবং আগামীকাল দুই দিনে আপনাদের প্রোগ্রামে অ্যাটেন্ড করতে হবে যারা দুই দিনে প্রোগ্রামে অ্যাটেন্ড করবেন আমরা কাল আমরা হচ্ছে সেটা দেখব আমরা নোট রাখবো সেই অনুযায়ী আমরা সার্টিফিকেট বিতরণ করব আপনাদের ইমেল অ্যাড্রেস আমাদের আমরা কালেক্ট করবো অলরেডি আমাদের কাছে আছে আর একবার চেক করবো প্রয়োজনে তারপর আমরা আপনাদেরকে সার্টিফিকেট পৌঁছাই দিব এটা আর এছাড়া আমাদের যে হোয়াটসঅ্যাপ গ্রুপ আছে আজকের প্রোগ্রাম নিয়ে সেই হোয়াটসঅ্যাপ গ্রুপে তো সকল ধরনের আপডেট থাকবেই ইনশাল্লাহ তো আমি আর কথা না বাড়াবো আমরা প্রোগ্রামের দিকে চলে যাব সবাইকে বলছি যে আমরা চেষ্টা করছি সুন্দরভাবে সাজানোর জন্য আমাদের আলোচকরা তাদের স্লাইড রেডি করেছেন ইন্টারেক্টিভ করার জন্য তারপরে অনেক সময় হয় যেহেতু ভার্চুয়াল বিষয় সেহেতু অনেক সময় আমাদের একটু হালকা ঘুম ঘুম আসতে পারে একটু গায়ে লিয়ে দেওয়ার ইচ্ছা থাকতে পারে কিন্তু আমরা বলছি যে আমাদের যে যত কষ্ট এগুলো সবই আমরা করতেছি শুধুমাত্র আপনাদের জন্য আপনার জন্য এখান থেকে কিছুটা উপকৃত হন তাহলে এই তিন ঘন্টা সাড়ে তিন ঘন্টা সেশন গুলো আমরা চাইবো যে একটু কষ্ট করে ঠিক আমাদের আলোচকরা যেভাবে কষ্ট করতেছে অর্গানাইজাররা যেভাবে কষ্ট করতেছে সেই কষ্টের দিকে লক্ষ্য করে হলেও 
আপনাদের নিজের স্বার্থে নিজের সুবিধার্থে আপনারাও চাই একটু ইন্টারেক্টিভ হওয়ার চেষ্টা করবেন যে কোনো প্রয়োজনে আপনারা কমেন্ট করবেন আমাদের কমেন্ট বক্সে চ্যাট বক্স আছে ওখানে কমেন্ট করবেন এরপরে জরুরি যদি কোনো বিষয় থাকে আপনার হ্যান্ড রেজ অপশন আছে তবে আমরা চাইবো কমেন্টেই সবকিছু বলার জন্য আমরা চাইবো ওকে তাহলে আমরা আমাদের প্রোগ্রাম শুরু করছি আমাদের প্রোগ্রামের শুরুতেই শুরুতেই আমাদের আজকের প্রোগ্রামের উদ্বোধনী আলোচনা উদ্বোধনী আলোচনা নিয়ে আসছেন ইউনিভার্সিটি পুত্রা মালয়েশিয়াতে পিএসজি তে অধ্যয়নরত ইংলিশে পিএসজি তে অধ্যয়নরত আমাদের সম্মানিত সভাপতি বিএসএ ইউপিএম সেখানকার সম্মানিত সভাপতি এবং বিএস ইউএম এর সম্মানিত সভাপতি ভাই মোহাম্মদ জহিরুল ইসলাম আমি অনুরোধ জানাচ্ছি ভাই মোহাম্মদ জহিরুল ইসলামকে তার উদ্বোধনী আলোচনা রাখার জন্য প্রোগ্রাম এর উপস্থিত আছেন সম্মানিত কোডিনেটর সম্মানিত কনভেনর উপস্থিত আছেন হবেন উপস্থিত হবেন আমাদের আজকের লিডিং ফেসিলেটর কাজী এম আহমেদ স্যার আমাদের তরিকুল আমিন স্যার উপস্থিত আছেন এবং অনেকগুলি পার্টিসিপেন্ট উপস্থিত আছেন এর মাঝে ডক্টর মিজানুর রহমান এবং অন্য অন্য আরো উপস্থিত আছেন আমি তাদের সবার নাম বলতে পারছি না তো সবার প্রতি প্রথমেই প্রাণ ডালা শুভেচ্ছা এবং অভিনন্দন রইল আপনারা জানেন যে বিএসএম একটা নন পলিটিক্যাল অর্গানাইজেশন বিএসএম সবসময় চায় যে বাংলাদেশি স্টুডেন্টরা যারা দেশের বাইরে পড়াশোনা করে আমরা স্পেশালি মালয়েশিয়া থেকে শুরু করেছি তারপরে আমাদের টার্গেট হচ্ছে বাংলাদেশি যত স্টুডেন্টই বাইরে পড়াশোনা করুক সবাইকে সাথে নিয়ে আমরা কাজ করতে চাচ্ছি এই অংশ হিসাবে আজকে আমরা সফট স্কিল ফেস্টিভ্যাল যেটা অ্যারেঞ্জ করেছি বিশ্বের বিভিন্ন জায়গা থেকে যারা বাংলাদেশের স্টুডেন্ট আছেন অংশগ্রহণ করেছে তো এর মাঝে আমরা আরেকটা মোটো নিয়েছি যেটা বাংলাদেশি স্টুডেন্ট ইভেন ওনারা বাংলাদেশে থাকতে পারে সবাইকে নিয়ে আমরা আমাদের যাত্রা চালাতে চাই আসলে আমরা চাচ্ছি এমন একটা জাতি গঠন করতে বা একটা জাতি গঠনের জন্য রূপরেখা বা স্বপ্ন দেখাতে যে জাতি অদূর ভবিষ্যতে বাংলাদেশে সুন্দরভাবে গোছালোভাবে তারা বাংলাদেশকে গঠন করার জন্য সচেষ্ট হবেন এটা হচ্ছে আমাদের চাওয়া either he may be in malaysia or abroad or in bangladesh no problem yes so amra uh, bsm shuru howar por thekei 2014 sale shuru hoyeche shuru howar por thekei amra onek guruttopurno program kore jacchi amra er majhe sob gulo bolte parchi na ei bochhor je program gulo korchi amra just to overview dicchi apnader ke amra ei bochhor shuru howar sathe sathei student der ke niye ekta tour korechi chomotkar ke arrangement chilo malaysia ek sundor jayga তারপরে আমরা মালয়েশিয়ার বা বিদেশে স্টুডেন্ট অবস্থানরত যারা পড়াশোনা করে আর সম্ভবত তাদেরকে তাদের প্রথম প্রোগ্রাম বিদেশে এরকম বাংলাদেশের ছাত্রদেরকে নিয়ে আর প্রোগ্রাম মনে হয়নি টোয়েন্টি খুব চমৎকার একটা প্রোগ্রাম হয়েছিল আজকের যে লিডিং ফেসিলেটর কাজী এ মোহাম্মদ স্যার তখনও উনি প্রধান অতিথি হিসেবে আমাদের সাথে ছিলেন চমৎকার প্রোগ্রাম হয়েছে যারা ছিলেন এখনও মনে তারা অনেকেই আছেন এখানে যারা অংশগ্রহণ করেছিলেন সো আমরা চেষ্টা করছি বিভিন্ন প্রোগ্রামের মধ্য দিয়ে ভালো একটা লিডারশিপ গঠন করতে যারা একাডেমিক ওয়ার্ল্ডে লিড দিবেন এজ ওয়েল এস সোশ্যাল ওয়ার্ল্ড এবং কর্পোরেট লেভেলে তারা লিড দিবেন ইভেন হতে পারে গভর্নমেন্ট লেভেলে বাট আমরা চাচ্ছি সবকিছু মিলিয়ে একটা গুছালো জাতি যেন আমরা উপহার দিতে পারি সেটা হচ্ছে আমাদের চেষ্টা আমরা কতটুকু পারবো জানি না আমরা চেষ্টা করে যাচ্ছি আমরা ইয়ার সামিটের পরে আবার সং কম্পিটিশন ছিল এম এম লাইভ মালয়েশিয়া অ্যারেঞ্জমেন্ট করেছিল সেখানে আমরা যৌথভাবে অ্যারেঞ্জ করেছিলাম তারপরে আমরা সেলিব্রেশন অফ ইন্টারন্যাশনাল মাদার ল্যাঙ্গুয়েজ ডে অ্যারেঞ্জ করেছি এন টিভির সাথে ফেসবুক লাইভ করেছি আমরা টোটাল কোভিড যখন শুরু হলো তখন থেকে আমরা ফেসবুক লাইভের অ্যারেঞ্জ করেছি বিভিন্ন ইস্যু নিয়ে আমরা কথা বলেছি বা মানুষকে সচেতন করার চেষ্টা করেছি বিদেশে উচ্চশিক্ষা গ্রহণ করার জন্য যে বিষয়গুলো দরকার স্কলারশিপ ম্যানেজ করা বা বিভিন্নভাবে যেন একজন স্টুডেন্ট বিদেশে আসতে পারে আমরা সেই বিষয়টা করেছি করার চেষ্টা করছি আমরা কিছুদিন আগে একটা প্রোগ্রাম হাতে নিয়েছিলাম যে হাউকে আপনারা বিদেশ কিভাবে আসতে পারেন বিদেশ থেকে কিভাবে পড়াশোনা করতে পারেন হাউ টু ম্যানেজ স্কলারশিপ এভরিথিং ওয়ে ট্রাইং বেস্ট সো 
আমরা চেষ্টা করছি গত এই মাসে আমরা একটা প্রোগ্রাম অ্যারেঞ্জ করেছিলাম চমৎকার প্রোগ্রাম ছিল এখানে প্রায় দুইশোর মতো উপস্থিতি ছিল সেটা ছিল আমাদের কিভাবে আর্টিকেল লিখতে হয় এবং কিভাবে হাই ইম্প্যাক্ট জার্নালে পাবলিশ করতে হয় সেই বিষয়গুলো নিয়ে আমরা একটা মানুষের একজন চমৎকার মানে খুব হাই র্যাঙ্কিং একজন প্রফেসরকে নিয়ে আমরা অ্যারেঞ্জ করেছি আপনারা খুশি হবেন সেই প্রফেসরের বাড়ি হচ্ছে বাংলাদেশের সাইদুর রহমান স্যার খুবই হাই র্যাঙ্কিং ওনার প্রোফাইল সো তো এই ধরনের প্রোগ্রামগুলো আমরা করে যাচ্ছি তো আমরা গত কয়েকদিন আগে টিচ ফর বাংলাদেশের সাথে প্রোগ্রাম করেছি কিভাবে বাংলাদেশের শিক্ষা ব্যবস্থাকে উন্নয়ন করা যায় কিভাবে কিভাবে বাংলাদেশের শিক্ষা ব্যবস্থা আরো গঠনমূলক দিকে নিয়ে যাওয়া যায় সেই বিষয়গুলো নিয়ে আমরা প্রোগ্রাম করেছি এটা লাইভ ছিল ফেসবুকে আপনারা হয়তো দেখেছেন অনেকেই তো এই টাইপের আরো অনেক প্রোগ্রাম আমরা করে যাচ্ছি আমাদের উদ্দেশ্য আমরা বলেছি যে এটা আবারও বলছি একটা নন পলিটিক্যাল অর্গানাইজেশন আমরা চেষ্টা করছি এর মধ্য দিয়ে আমরা আমাদের জাতিকে একটা সর্বোচ্চ শিকড়ে যেন নিয়ে যেতে পারি সেটা হয়তো আপনারা বলতে পারেন যে আসলে কিভাবে সম্ভব একটা ছোট অর্গানাইজেশন বিএসএ আমরা যদি নজরুলের সেই বা বাণীকে আমরা সামনে নিয়ে আসি যুগ জমানা পাল্টে দিতে চাই না বহুজন এক মানুষে দিতে পারে জাতির জাগরণ সেটা হতে পারে আপনি কয়েকজন মানুষ নিয়েই কিন্তু জাতি গঠন করা খুবই সহজ খুব কঠিন না এটা যদি সিনসিয়ার হয় নেতৃত্বের গুণাবলী সম্পন্ন হয় এবং সমাজে নেতৃত্ব দিতে পারে তো আজকে আমরা অনুরোধ করব যারা উপস্থিত হয়েছেন আমরা চাই আমাদের যে কাজগুলো আমরা উদ্যোগ নিয়েছি আপনারা সবাই আমাদের সাথে একতাবদ্ধ হয়ে আসেন আমরা হাতে হাত মিলিয়ে কাঁধে কাঁদ মিলিয়ে এই কাজগুলো করি আমরা সব কিছুর পরে চাচ্ছি একটা সুন্দর দেশ গঠন করতে আমরা যেখানেই থাকি হয়তো এখানে যারা আছেন বাইরে পড়াশোনা করছেন বাইরে সেটেল হয়ে যাবেন কোনো সমস্যা নেই আবার অনেকেই দেশে বড় বড় পোস্টে আছেন আমার জায়গা থেকে যদি আমি একটু ছোট করে দেশের জন্য ভূমিকা রাখতে পারি সেটাই হবে ছোট ছোট বালকনা বিন্দু বিন্দু জল যেটা আমরা এভাবেই গড়ে তুলতে পারবো কোনো সমস্যা মনে করছি না আমরা আমরা পারবো ইনশাল্লাহ ওই আর কনফিডেন্ট সো আসুন আমরা চেষ্টা করি আপনি যেখানে আছেন আমি যেখানে আছি আমার পাশে যদি কোনো সমস্যা দেখি আমি খুব সুন্দরভাবে সেটা যেন সলভ করতে পারি এই কোয়ালিটিটা অন্তত পক্ষে আমাদের ভিতরে গড়ে ওঠা দরকার আমরা মনে করছি এইগুলোর জন্য মূলত আমরা সব দিকে কাভার করার জন্য বিভিন্ন প্রোগ্রাম বিভিন্ন সেক্টর আমরা হাতে নিচ্ছি আজকের প্রোগ্রামটা হচ্ছে আপনারা নিজে বুঝতেছেন কত চমৎকার একটা প্রোগ্রাম এরকম একটা প্রোগ্রাম করতে পেরে আমরা সত্যি আনন্দিত ওই আর ভেরি হ্যাপি আমাদের জীবন গঠন করতে পারি কিভাবে আমাদের পরিবার গঠন করতে পারি কিভাবে আমাদের কর্পোরেট লেভেলে নেতৃত্ব দিতে পারি এবং কিভাবে আমাদের দেশকে লিডিং দিয়ে বিশ্বের বুকে আমাদের বাংলাদেশকে একটা মাথা উঁচু করা দেশ হিসেবে আমরা দেখতে পারি আমরা সবার কাছে সহযোগিতা কামনা করছি এবং আমরা আমাদের মূল প্রোগ্রামে ফিরে যাব আমার কথা এখানে শেষ করছি সবাইকে ধন্যবাদ অভিনন্দন ধন্যবাদ আমাদের সম্মানিত সভাপতিকে তার উদ্বোধনী আলোচনা রাখার জন্য আমরা অলরেডি দেখতে পাচ্ছি আমাদের যিনি প্রথম আলোচক তিনি চলে আসছেন তো আমাদের যে উদ্বোধনী অংশ সেই উদ্বোধনী অংশ এর মধ্যে শেষ হচ্ছে আপনারা আমাদের সাথে থাকবেন এবং আমি এখন আমাদের ফ্লোর দিতে চাচ্ছি আমাদের মেইন হোস্ট যিনি আছেন আমাদের আলমগীর চৌধুরী আকাশ ভাই তিনি আমাদের বাংলাদেশ স্টুডেন্টস ইউনিয়ন মালয়েশিয়ার ট্রেজারার পদে আছেন আমি তাকে ফ্লোর দিচ্ছি ধন্যবাদ ওকে থ্যাংক ইউ এনামুল হক ভাই দ্য কোঅর্ডিনেটর অফ দিস ভেরি গুড প্রোগ্রাম বিসমিল্লাহির রহমানির রহিম আসসালামু আলাইকুম এন্ড গুড আফটারনুন টু অল फ्रॉम কুয়ালা লামপুর মালয়েশিয়া Uh, welcome to this very special event, BSC on Virtual Soft Skill Fest 2020, organized by Bangladesh Student Union Malaysia and Bangladesh Student Association University Putara Malaysia. The theme of this event is uh, Soft Skill for Sustainable Career in New Normal. This is Alamgir Chaudhuri Akash, treasurer of Bangladesh Student Union Malaysia and moderator for today's session. It's our great pleasure, it's a great pleasure to have some very special speaker uh, for our awaited virtual soft skill fest 2020. You guys already informed that we invited six dynamic speakers for this two days long uh, virtual fest. And for this session, we are pleased to welcome 
Kaji Mahmud Ahmed, and today he is going to conduct a very important session with us. And the title of this session is Leading Effectively Through Uncertainty. So now as a moderator of this session, I would like to take the opportunity to introduce our guest in briefly. Uh, Kaji Mahmud Ahmed, uh, I think you guys already uh, know this great personality and he's a renowned and very popular face in Bangladesh. And he's a lead consultant and chief executive officer of Future Leaders. He's also a founder and president of Bangladesh Organization for Learning and Development. We call it BOLD. And he is also a certified facilitator, uh, Inside Out Coaching, which is based on United States of America. Uh, now I am going through some of his achievements in shortly. Uh, he received Global Training and Development Leadership Award in February 2017, which was presented by Mumbai-based uh, first corporate training session, uh, Mumbai-based World HRD Organization uh, Congress. With 21 years of training experience under his belt, he conducted his first corporate training session back in 1996. On that time, he was a teaching, uh, teacher at North South University. And since then, facilitate, he facilitated over more than 2,500 sessions, where attended more than 100,000 people. Can you imagine that? So in addition, he conducted training sessions in different countries. Uh, like United States of America, United Kingdom, uh, Denmark, Malaysia, India, Nepal, and so many countries. He's an international figure. So, and he's also renowned for his career coach teaching in Bangladesh. He's one of the pioneers of making career coach in Bangladesh. So you guys will be happy to know that uh, he has a very strong connection with Bangladeshi Student Union Malaysia, BCM. And I think most of them, you already attended our last youth summit, which was held in University Putra, Malaysia in last October, uh, last February in this year. And Mr. Kaji Mahmud Ahmed, he was the key speaker on that event also. And, okay. And we're really, really happy to have, uh, have Mr. Kaji sir again in our, uh, this program, this fest. And I think our all participants are really waiting to hear you. Uh, okay, I just want to let you know a few more things for our participants especially. And I know that this session may bring up a number of questions from all of you. And I want to let you know that I will address as many as I can. If you have any questions, comments or suggestion, please ask through the chat box. I think you guys already know in the Zoom, we can communicate through the chat box. And later I will ask to the speaker on, on behalf of you guys. Okay, before uh, going to our main part, uh, I would uh, like to announce one more announcement for our participants. And that is like during the session, the speaker will select five, five best participants for question and answer session. And the winner participants will be awarded with certificate and honors. So for our all participants, try to listen carefully and best of luck to all because we believe everyone are the capable to be as a best participant. Okay, before inviting our speaker, a humble request to all of our participants, please mute your mic uh, during the discussion. Uh, and if you have anything to say, just raise your hand. I think you guys already know where we have a raise hand option and we have a chat box option, but we, are, we prefer chat, chat box option. If you have anything, just write over there. I think we will try to address it. Uh, so I think I will not take any more time. Uh, we all are waiting to hear our special guest, our main guest today. So without any delay, I'm inviting Mr. Kazi Mahmoud Ahmed uh, for conducting this session. And from now to onwards, the floor is yours, sir. Uh, sir, please come and conduct your session. Thank you. Thank you so very much. Um, Moderator Alamgir Chaudhary, so wonderfully you have, uh, shall I say, explained everything. Uh, rules for me, rules for the participants. And I want to thank uh, President Zohi Sadat, um, as well as, I think, Secretary General, a whole uh, committee. Uh, this is not the first time my 
this is actually the third time. I think uh, even before February 29th conference, I, I was uh, present on another occasion, but in during different presidency. Now, um, I want to give you a breaking news, breaking news of a different kind. Uh, Zohir Sadat had some hint about it. As of last week, I'm a PhD student of Putra Business School. Really? <laughs> I am. I am. It has been confirmed. Congratulations. Congratulations, sir. Yes. So I'll soon become a member. So you don't have to introduce me in such a big way. I you probably will be, you will be our advisor. <laughs> I will sit beside you. I will sit at the back I'm seat. Sir, I am so happy on you. Yes. So Amara formality color kitchen. Um, congratulations. I don't give the the If Amra BSUM, Bangladesh Students Union Malaysia, Pamani Bangla, the Shifuleto, Bangla, and the Jan, the Tarpur English here, Basha, Malaysia, and Nanojana. So I hope I can speak both languages, that yeah. Bangla and English. Yeah, but we have also some foreign guests here, also foreign participants. Oh, we do. Then I will, okay, done. Just this few of them actually, See, not, not much. Then I will maybe, completely maybe in English. No, no, no. Okay. No, 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 still. Is, if, Adi, if there's one Adi, person congratulations. in English. Thank you. So I'm a, I'm a UPM student, for sure. Uh, my payment of tuition fee is pending, but that's not the matter. But the admission payment has been done. So this is, the 800 ringgit has been paid. So that's the whole point. <laughs> Good. I, I wanted to I wanted to say this first in my way. Time is very limited. I had a challenge, but then I managed time. I think my next speaker starts at 220 or what when do they start? 210, 2, 2 o'clock? You can tell me. When is the next speaker? Two o'clock, I think. Two o'clock. Okay. Yeah. So I will finish uh, within this time. It's gonna be very short and sweet. Um, I'll skip some slides. So, uh, um, so one more thing. Uh, if you want, you can extend like 10 to 15 minutes. I think that's not a problem. Okay. Okay. For question and answer, it may be necessary. I will actually, um, I may have to go pretty fast. So I, I seek apology uh, before I start. So um, I want to use, of course, PowerPoint and then come back to it question, answer, and then so on. So uh, bear with me, let me use the technology, meaning, um, yep. So screen share, I hope it has, it is there. Of course it is there, yeah, good. I hope you can see my slides. Yeah, actually um, we can, we can, yeah, we can see. Okay, okay. Let me do one thing. Uh, my connection, in case I have a challenge. Just one second. Sorry, I should have done that before. Uh, okay. mm -hmm. Good. Mm -hmm. I'm ready. It doesn't have to be formal. Mm -hmm. There's a lot so of light here. Yeah. So, so, sir, we have almost uh, 150 participants, almost near about like, I think. I saw that and this is so impressive. I'll be honest with you because uh, numbers are, are, are pretty important. So I have a feeling when at the end of the program, I will post on my social media from LinkedIn to Facebook um, that these many numbers were there. It will, it will add a lot of value for BSUM, also for me. So that's amazing. So leading effectively through uncertainty. Um, very clearly you can see uh, that we are passing through a time of uncertainty. Even I was told that my three classes at, at, at Putra Business School will be taking place through Zoom. And until 31st December, most likely I will not be required to come. So, so it shows how things have changed, just to give you one example. And from the rest of the world, you know so many other examples. I don't want to go into that because time is so short. I want to go main uh, to the topic. 
so uh, allow me this uh, quick opportunity. So first, I, I, I want to say, you know, in, in from the, those who are researchers, you very much know the difference between uncertainty and probability. So right now, we cannot even tell uh, anything uh, what's going to happen. So probability is not much working, rather uncertainty. That anything can happen. And uh, although uh, there, are, there are predictions about how this uh, coronavirus pandemic will, um, shall I say, uh, reduce and normalcy will come back. But that normalcy we know is called new normal. Um, so not the normal that we had like before. So I relate this uh, with, um, um, I think, I think you may not allow this um, in, in notation. Uh, somebody is notating. So whoever is managing this, uh, ask him or her not to allow participants to notate because that may create a distraction. Um, am I clear to you? Uh, uh, can yes, you sir. can you yes, stop sir. that? Can you stop that function? Uh, okay. Because we have time. I, don't want, I don't want my slides to be ruined or tampered with um, by somebody else uh, just because he wants to. Uh, he, he's not wrong. She's not wrong. But that's my standard. Okay, good. Um, so first, mm, this thing is a remain. So I have to. What do I do now? Can you change that um, that 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 struck that that strike over there? I, I, then I begin. Okay, so there, I there is a line over there. Please remove it, and then I start. Somebody did it, so it's okay. Things can happen. You can go back, uh, go to annotate, and I think. Uh, brother Alamgir, can you erase? Yeah, yeah. I cannot yeah. erase. I will start again. Go back. I'll stop share. Maybe that will be helpful too. Yeah, I will. I will start again. Actually, I'm trying. No, no, don't, don't worry. Uh, maybe, maybe this should be all right. This should be okay. I will go again. This technology, you know, because of technology, uh, you can do much because we we also want to participate with everybody. But then, uh, the grammar of participation is the issue. Um, not 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 participation. Uh, let's see. Once again, um, let me go again, and I hope this time it'll be clear and clean, so that um, Anwar Chaudhary doesn't feel bad. Okay, I don't see any. I'll, I'll go back again and start again if this happens. And if this is the only thing happens, then the time is gone <laughs> with this. Anyway, so uh, <clears throat> thank you. Um, as I was there. First of all, um, I want to relate with resilience. During uncertainty, people have to have resilience because during uncertainty, what happens is you, uh, you become in a tough situation. You fall into a difficult spot. You go for a dip and then you have to have the ability to get up. So I call this bounce forward. To me, bounce back, bounce forward. Uncertainty will be there but you have to have the ability to bounce back, but bounce back sounds negative. I say bounce forward. And um, you need to also understand what leadership is because I was talking about uncertainty and I related with uh, resilience. And now I'm talking about leadership. If you search leadership on Google, you'll be surprised to see that um, the word leadership uh, probably uh, gave you uh, 2.6 billion links. There's so much to talk about leadership. So I will not attempt that. This is this is unbelievable. There's so many different sizes, shapes, colors to leadership. There's so many theories. Even I have a theory of leadership, which I will not talk with you today. But from my life experience, I have my own Phoenix uh, model of leadership. That's another day. So first, a couple of quotes on leadership. I love this quote very much because it brings, uh, uh, it, it raises a very interesting issue about the nature of leadership. You can read it, but I can also help you. It says, uh, leadership is one of the most observed and least understood phenomena on earth. Today, <clears throat> you observe Zohir Sadat's leadership. You observe um, 
you know, uh, leadership of a moderator. You are watching my leadership of this in this session. But it is less understood because there are so many different ways to lead. I talk in one way, another person talks in another way. So there is no one way. Just know that there are many ways to be an effective leader. There is not just one way uh, to be. So uh, next is, I love this American, former American Sir, you are muted. I am Jenny. I am going to do it. I am going to do it. I to do it. I am going to do it. I I will unmute. I am going to do it. Please remind me. If your actions inspire others to dream more, um, um, learn more, and do more, and become more, then you are a leader. Um, after this session, if you feel that some of the ideas I shared, or at least one idea I shared resonated with you, you felt like, yes, ah, I should do this. Then I was a leader. If after my session, nothing inspired you, then in this session, this time, I could not lead you. That's okay. I'm not always a leader. Sometimes I'm a follower. Sometimes I'm a manager. Sometimes I'm something else. So I'm not going to be always trying to be a leader. Sometimes it's better to be a follower. When I drive, or, or when I used to drive, now I drive so much less, I found in Bangladesh, when there is a um, truck, you know, truck in front of me, if I want to go in a speedy way, it's better to have a truck in front of me, not behind me. I'd be worried when a truck is behind me. So I'd rather follow a truck, that way the truck clears the road before me, Everybody's afraid of the truck. So I can easily, with a safe distance from the truck, I follow and I lead. Meaning sometimes being a follower is being a leader. Sometimes in this example. That's, that's what I'm trying to interestingly uh, share with you. Um, right. So um, let's move on. As I said, a couple of quotes. So I like one definition of leadership. There are so many, I will not take all of them, but look at this. It says, this, is, this leadership is from a Malaysian institute. It's called ICLIF. I think it's called I-C-L-I-F, ICLIF. I think it's International uh, Center for Governance and uh, some, uh, Corporate Governance and Leadership or something like that, ICLIF. Uh, so, so, so they say leadership is the art of harnessing human energy towards the creation of a better future. You'll find it interesting. First of all, a leader is a person who harnesses, utilizes the human energy that is around. Huh? And, and why do they harness that energy? To create a better future. Right now, uh, BSUM is showing leadership because the members are, it's, you know, their co-leaders, their, um, you know, their team members. So they are harnessing the human energy of these 150 uh, students uh, in undergraduate and, and graduate program, PhD and masters. For what? To create a better future. Better future for Bangladeshi students. If there's an undergraduate who can get a, a master's scholarship or who is a master's can do a bachelor's. And eventually, I think, some people can even study beyond Malaysia, Australia, United States, UK, I don't know, to create a better future for them. That's why BSUM is the leadership. It has already shown leadership by, I would say, organizing this uh, interesting uh, session that I'm, I'm part of right now. Uh, to properly say it, I should look at the banner and say, BSUM virtual uh, soft skills, you know, uh, soft skills fest 2020. Now, there are many dynamic speakers. You have, you have my great friend, Jishu Parov, that tomorrow, um, there's a young mm -hmm. dynamic rising trainer, Yusuf Ifti, and so many others. So that's why I'm saying you are already showing leadership. Huh? So be proud of that. Um, you are. But I need to also quickly tell you, as individuals, 
when are you a leader when are you not a leader you need to have some understanding what kind of behavior after this i will pass on to some specific behaviors uh, during uncertainty during general times during general times i would say what kind of behaviors make you a leader this is the best leadership book i know which combines research and also practice for the last 30 years jim pooses and barry posner have done research on leadership and their book is the leadership challenge if there is one book uh, you want to read i would recommend this book the sixth edition of the leadership challenge how to make extraordinary things happen in organizations in bsum in your life even eh? so these are the two gentlemen for the last 30 years they are working that means they are alive for the last 30 years to do the research but of course they are probably in their 60s if not in 70s uh, you can learn more about pooses and posner by going to the wikipedia now they have talked about five practices eh? uh, they have talked about five exemplary leadership if all of you are student leaders from different universities and uh, and and in, in in malaysia and 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 i know uh, leadership anybody can be a leader so don't uh, today i cannot have the time to detail for detailed argument anybody who can show these behaviors i will show they are even exemplary leaders exemplary leaders okay so so don't let anybody think not even you don't let yourself think you oh, are not a leader i'm just only a follower no it is not like that you are equally leaders if you have certain behaviors you show so what is the what are the five behaviors here they are first one is model the way meaning you are a role model for others if you tell the truth you know those who are us who are muslims here we know about uh, our prophet uh, hazrat muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam he was known as al amin he the 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 the, the, the truth speaking speaker of truth consistently so so that's why he had the credibility so you become a role model you know in bangladesh um as as i was introduced i have become uh, the pioneer of modern training before me of course there was training very traditional style of training nobody brought world's best practices and bangladesh's best practices together and then delivered entertainingly with games exercises and so on today not much time otherwise i have interacted with, with technology with mentimeter and so on but but allow me i did it last time in the conference but today uh, it wasn't so much a possibility second you are a role model your behavior your activities your dress up you know uh, it's like i'm at home i'm i could be wearing a t-shirt and give the i'll give the same presentation But look at me i even wore a jacket no not needed i'm wearing a white shirt as if i'm in you know formal setting but i'm doing this to show you respect to show that um, you know i'm here in a, a professional setting and so many others will be there so i better present myself well small thing but i want to uh, say that but i also made a mistake i should say uh, i didn't want to take the risk so i even took time from you and i fixed the my uh, computer cord i should have done that before so that is not good leadership but this is good at this presentation uh, how i how i appear to you both are there so i am learning from my own mistake this time i will improve it so that it doesn't happen second is inspire meaning when you talk i already mentioned it if you if you inspire means you can influence others you can motivate others um as you see 150 or more people have joined it means bsum leaders the executive committee whatever you call it you are very inspiring you can actually influence others people joined in large numbers from all over malaysia or even who knows from bangladeshi uh, students who are now residing in bangladesh because because they have traveled to bangladesh so it's like amazing i i would say you are inspiring then comes challenge the process this is a bit different leaders are also always asking question how can you improve can you see the picture here there is a ladder someone holding people are looking up not down you know they see how can you go up go in that direction and uh, it's a challenging process not easy huh look at me how, how i'm looking upwards so they are thinking they are they're thinking of yeah it's a challenge how can you go bigger better and so on okay 
And finally, enables others to act means you help each other. Anyone who is advanced, you see there are three people there. One person holding perhaps a female person's hand, I can see, holding the hand of uh, the man in between. And he is also forward his hand to another person who's trying to hold his hand. So this kind of, we call it coaching in the formal context. We coach others, guide others, mentor others, so that, you know, uh, that's what happens. Enable others to act. You, you build their capacity. Someone who first joins, bang, comes to Malaysia, and then uh, becomes a BSUM student and give them advice. How, where is the, how can you stay in a, in a hostel where you don't have to spend too much money, and how you can save money, and, and how, you, how you can um, uh, approach your supervisors. Even I will need this help from uh, BSUM. When I, uh, how can I, uh, you know, as a student, what are my rights that I can from a university? And is there a discount I can get being BSUM? You know, all the stuff. So, so this way, uh, you enable me, you help me uh, to get, get, get better. Huh? So um, that's why I would say, finally, encourage uh, the heart, which basically means that if you're a leader, you celebrate. After the soft skill fest, virtual soft skill fest, BSUM virtual soft skill fest, you should celebrate on 6th. You say, yes, we did it. We should have a, a, a maybe internal celebration you will do anyway, but invite others also to do that. So this way, what happens is uh, you're showing the leadership behavior. So you now have five best leadership behaviors. Don't tell me I didn't share with you. If you, if you inculcate and you have to read the book, you have to watch a video on YouTube, there's so much about it. But consistently, they have, after 30 years of research, they come up with something and you're not using it. What are you doing then? As students, this is the time to learn. Learn about these five, but not just from me. I only introduce you, but go ahead and do this. This is the regular leadership, but I should tell you, I need to tell you three powerful ideas, but I will uh, now move uh, my slides some because this slide is for one hour session, but I, I have to go faster. Uh, some of the slides I will skip. Don't worry, these are uh, this, this is not, so, not so important. So I want to first tell you, um, I want to share with you now in the time of uncertainty, in the time of challenges, I will share three tips with you. These three trips correspond with these three ideas. One is respond. How do you respond to situations? How do you recover? And then how do you thrive? First, of course, is, huh? Oh my God, what happened? I thought this will happen. I thought this will happen, my God. Uh, so how to respond during that time? This I will share. Next, okay, you have recovered. What to do? And then finally, even if it is uncertain, even if there's a lot of challenge, even if things are not good, still, how can you even try? What ideas, what examples will help you to think about it? This is the meat of the program. So listen to me carefully so that you can ask questions and so on. I will take maybe quickly I will go because, you know, uh, otherwise there'll be no time for question and answer. We'll probably 10 minutes and then another 10 minutes you will get, maybe maximum 15 minutes you'll get. For, uh, for so I might go all the way up to maximum 215. I, I, I you know, initially I couldn't do that, but I managed uh, somehow. So first one, how to respond? If I'm not able to lead myself, how can I lead others? So we are talking about leading during uncertainty. You are talking about leading others. Now, frankly, first is leading yourself. So we say you you have to lead yourself. So we say first develop your risk responsibility but this is not the responsibility word see it says response ability can you respond in a difficult situation somebody said you a bad thing do you say bad thing in return a father or a mother or a teacher said hey you're insincere the first thing it becomes is your face becomes oh my god and then you say oh no you you cannot tell me this and you know and you react negatively. No, you have to, before anything happens, every morning you can say, today 
I'm going to keep my best face. You know what I do? Every day when I wake up, when my feet touches the floor from the bed, either on my sandal or on the floor, I say, I am going to have an awesome day. I say, I'm going to have a great day. In fact, every day to me is a great day. I make it a great day. So my, I develop, I become proactive, you see. I, I do priming. Bef and I sometimes also think in the morning, I have many positive thoughts. Then I say, I may have many, many negative things. And I don't need to tell you, I may have a client may say today, my con uh, your con uh, training will not happen today, maybe another day. I, I will find that uh, I have some other challenges. But before challenges come, I think I may have some challenges and I will overcome them. This is my way. I don't know, I have learned from others and you can learn from me if you want, if you're open to learning. So here's one, one example. This gentleman during um, Hitler's uh, uh, Second World War time, he was an, um, he was, okay, historically, don't bring in the uh, issue of Jew versus Islam and everything, please don't. This is, be a global person, be an open person, okay? So he was a psychiatrist, a great human being in Austria, but he was put in uh, Hitler's concentration camp where they burned people. Six million Jews, uh, Jew, Jews were killed, you know, massacred. It's like in Bangladesh, Pakistani, I'm sorry to say, but Pakistani uh, soldiers actually uh, killed three million Bangladeshis during those nine months. So, so then you understand how they feel. In, in, in each human being is valuable. What if you are burned alive? Think about that. You, me, we are gassed and we are burned alive. How do you feel? So those situations, he was there. But because of responsibility, because of his certain strength of mind, he survived. Unbelievable story. You need to read that book, Man's Search for Meaning. Classic tribute to the hope. Classic tribute to hope from the Holocaust. That's Holocaust story. Huh? Now, he's, he's one thing he said very powerful. Everything can be taken away from a man, but one thing, the last of the human freedoms, to choose one's attitude in any given set of circumstances. Choose one's way. He did not feel small. He felt, I'm a PhD, he was a doctorate degree holder. And he said, I'm a dignified person, but he was made naked. He was, they were experimenting with him. He was treating him poorly. He beat him up, you know, all kinds of things. But he did not lose his hope. He said, I will come out of this. If he were a Muslim, he probably would have said, Inshallah, I will come out of this. And I will tell my student. He actually said that. I'll come out of it. And, and, and I will tell my students what I went through. But his colleagues were so afraid. Oh, I'm going. Maybe I will not come back. They're taking me away for interrogation. What will happen? I don't know. Many of them didn't come back. But that's what happens, you know. If you think you can, you can. If you think you cannot, you cannot. You cannot believe this. Some people will laugh at me. But my life story is very similar. When I'm very confident, my performance is very good. When I'm thinking, oh, today I will not do good. I've seen that I don't do good. So ever since, in every presentation, I'm very strong. I know, I don't have to cry. I don't have to talk loud, but I'm talking with you as if 150 of you of you in my conference room. I am, I'm not gonna talk like, hello, how are you? Today, I'm going to talk about leadership. No, I'm not gonna do that. I'm gonna be an energy person because that's who I am. And I know what I, why I'm doing it. I know some people may not like it, that's okay. I'm not here everybody to like me uh, or respect me. I don't like everybody. So some people may not like me. That's okay. I don't, I don't live to like or dislike. I'm here to deliver my message. And what I've learned, I, I stand on the shoulders of the giants, meaning I have learned from others and I share with you and see how it works. I have a freedom. Freedom is that I have self-respect. And in uncertainty, I will not be small. I will not be fearful. I will do my best during the difficult time. Now, here's another story, and then I'll go to the principle. Stockdale, 
uh, was an officer in in, in American Navy. He's in Vietnam War. His plane was shot down, and he was uh, of course in, as a POW, um, a prisoner of war. They say, and what he did was amazing. Probably he was he was in 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 jail for more than five years, but many soldiers who were with him died long before he was released because those soldiers felt that I will be released within one year, I'll be released within two years, and then they lost hope. If you lose hope, see, it reads here, Stockdale Paradox, it says, retain faith that you will prevail in the end, regardless of the difficulty. See, in uncertainty, you are in difficulty. You, are, you don't know, but you have to believe coronavirus will I'll overcome. I will be safe, I'll maintain social distance, I'll wash my hands, and so on and so forth. But on the right hand side, you can see, confront the most brutal facts of it, current reality, whatever they might be. The current reality, you may contract oh, COVID-19. Today I'm not. Either tomorrow, I may contract. So I may have COVID-19. I'm, I'm not stupid to realize, no, 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 I will not have. I may actually have. So, but then I have all the medicine, I have all the learning, I'll immediately apply. And I may actually die, but I will take all precaution so that I don't. So this kind of mindset uh, bring, gives you the paradox. So, so I, I, I mainly want to say two things, one circle of influence and circle of concern you can see. Circle of influence uh, uh, actually is more important. First, on the right hand side, I'm showing you circle of uh, con uh, concern. Concern meaning, oh, Hospital uh, in hospitals, there are 190 ventilators, and there are so many thousands of patients. So it, I, I cannot think because there isn't. Truly, if I am, if I have serious breathing issue, only oxygen, you know, cylinder can help me because ventilators may be, may be hard to come by. Or my wife's elder sister is a doctor, and her hospital there are ventilators. And I have talked with them that I hope I have one ventilator if I have such a bad case. So that I have control over, you know. She's a relation, she, she's our relation, and she will do her best. I'm saying, but many people think about the economy, politics, and what other people think, what other people behavior, how long it will last. Something that you don't control over, don't think about that. Uh, you only think about what you have control over. So this is what it is, huh? Hand washing, you have control over. Social distancing, you control over. So in your life, you only think about what you have control. Right now, I don't have control over this um, technology. It may happen because of internet problem, I may go out of the system. Then after 30 seconds, I will come back. But I should not worry about it. I only think what I have control, if my Wi-Fi has a problem, I have a hotspot, mobile hotspot. On my iPhone, I'll give hotspot and I'll come. So this is what I have control over. So I do not worry about what happens to the economy. I only worry about how can I write to my clients. And I'm doing many training now uh, because I write to them, I sell my program. So I don't worry about what I don't have control over. I only do things that I have control. I think this is one main idea. Huh? In Denmark, Look there, what they're doing. This is a picture from, I think, two weeks ago. They're outside, they're enjoying dinners, but where? Look at the safety security they have created huh? in, 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 in Holland, Denmark. Huh? And then in Brazil, uh, uh, about 10 days back, they were, they were unable to hug. Look there how they're hugging. In a plastic bubble, uh, this, I think, on the other side, there's a daughter, and on this side, there's a mother or grandmother, I don't know, but they're hugging. They are touching each other, except not touching really, because there's a plastic in between. For safety, it is a must. What an emotional scene you can say. Huh? So all I'm saying is, you cannot meet, you cannot face-to-face -face meet, but look, it is so much possible. That's what I'm saying. Find out what you can do. Don't think about what you cannot do. This is the first respond part, okay? Respond part. Now, let's recover. 
look what we are doing. We are already recovering. I am doing my training online. I am making money. <laughs> uh, it's surprising that I was, I didn't expect it, but clients uh, are doing online training. Every day, yesterday I did it, day before I did it. Every day I'm doing some paid work. How come? People wonder, because I have this mindset. If I think, oh my God, what will happen? Then I will not write a sales email. If, and, and then I'm encouraging, I'm telling them that I can do this, I can do that, and my cost is less, and uh, they can participate from home. Oh, really? And, and, and then it's happening, you see? So, but our brain is negative. I think I mentioned in the last uh, training, perhaps in leadership also, our brain is basically negative. Remember that. Eh? I think I have five minutes and then the, I'll make it open for the discussion. So any given time, if there are 25 negative things, only two, roughly, I'm just saying, majority, 80% or more, we think negatively. And, uh, and, and positive is only two uh, um, in a certain moment. All I'm saying is, because of the, we once were uh, in the cave, men and women, we face so many challenges, somehow our brain has become negative. So that's why we say our brain has automatic negative thoughts. In our brain, there are ants, A-N-T, A-N-T-S, ants. I hate this, what if I fail? Even I'm thinking, I got admission, but after so many years, I'm so busy, will I be able to finish my PhD? But when, uh, I think I got some great help from uh, one of the BSUM students here, Secretary General, I think, the Secretary, um, uh, our, our, our great friend here, um, Intiaz, um, sent me many research articles for me to re study. And after studying those 30 articles, I wrote my own research paper. I didn't take anybody's help. I even said to, to some people that I, will, I want to show you this. I didn't even show. So I felt I can do it. I gave, of course, three days, you know, to, to, to draft it, develop it. I'm saying it first, I thought I cannot write my own research proposal. Now I'm thinking I may not be able to write my own thesis. I may have to pay somebody to write my research. But I told my own brain, no, I'm gonna write every word of my thesis. So nobody ever later can say, oh, Kazibai, I wrote his thesis. No way, I heard this. Some people tell me, oh, he is, I wrote this, I did this. I will not allow anybody, but I can ask for articles. I can ask for links that I will ask, but I will do my own work. I am capable of doing that. You see what I'm, how I'm talking? Not that I'm not allowing my ants to speak. You have to do the same and you're priming. And of course it's hard work. Of course you have to be willing to do the hard work. Huh? Otherwise your problem. See, our newspapers, our online newspapers, this is from those days uh, that I, 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 I some time back. You know, every day you open, there's a negative news. Online, offline, whatever. Uh, Trump holds first really pandemic. So China, Japan problem, India, uh, China problem, all news. In Malaysia, you open the newspaper. So as a result, your colleagues, you, your you know, fellow students, they're all in a negative state of mind. So, but you cannot be. You have to become positive mind. Look at this figure. It's a very interesting picture where it says, it shows, if you put this in your mouth like that, it looks like a negative face, you know, between lips. But if you put between your teeth, it's like a smile. This person on the right is not smiling. Just the way the pen is held between the teeth. So I, most of the time in this presentation, you'll see, I'm on a smiling face. It is a professional smiling face. I can keep my face like that all the time. That's not a problem. I, this is me actually, normal time. But I will not keep it that way. I will have a smiling face. And this way, I'll have better idea, better energy and what not, you know? So I would say this is one thing uh, that you have to keep in mind. You have to keep yourself upbeat, keep yourself positive. Otherwise, uh, uh, there are challenges. So get comfortable with being uncomfortable, I say. Sometimes there'll be uncomfortable uncertainty, but you say, hey, it's a game, game of life. I can manage it. I will remain positive. Eh? So, so this, is, this is the important part. And one tool I want you to use is, I say, pin. 
pain means, look at this picture, somebody died, maybe COVID-19, no, not COVID-19, because then people will not come so close. This is a picture from non-COVID-19 picture. So it's easy to say negative things. Oh my God, somebody died. Oh, oh, oh so many bad, you know, bad situation here. But think of a positive thing to say. I call it PIN. PIN stands for positive in negative or NIP, negative into positive. And my positive statement, look at, listen to this example and then I'll go to the third one and I finish my presentation. PIN means, he said, this person was suffering so much. He had so much pain. Because of death, now this pain is gone. Because he would have died anyway. He was a terminal ill. Or these brothers and sisters and uncles, they never met after many years. Because of he was ill, he was in deathbed. Everybody came to the family. They had gap among themselves. The gap is reduced. So you can think of anything. Uh, you've got a C grade in a course. If you can reach it, you can get an A. So it's okay if I got a C. But the positive of getting C is in the next time I'll get an A. Maybe I wouldn't go to a B. Uh, but now that I will study so hard, I'll get an A. So that kind of mindset. So as a leader, you are the source of inspiration and motivation. Finally, this is how to thrive. And uh, then quickly I would say, what doesn't kill me makes me stronger. If you, me, all of us survive this coronavirus, imagine after somebody survives coronavirus, that means a stronger immune system. So you are stronger, better. Huh? This is... Uh, uh, this is uh, Nietzsche, a uh, German uh, philosopher. Huh? So, yeah. uh, great thing he said. Oh, hello, Kitty. What doesn't kill us? Uh, the new, we said this is uh, the psychology of um, the cycle. What doesn't kill you, kill us, um, you know, makes us stronger. So, in that book, he said some people feel depression, you know, they become suicidal and so on. P TSD, you know, post-traumatic stress disorder. Because you had to, uh, in Malaysia, even problem, you had to come back to Bangladesh, uh, you lost some money, unnecessary expenditure, you have a depression, anxiety. Nobody is going to go suicide, but I'm saying somebody have anxiety. What will happen online? Can I do exams? Uh, so, <clears throat> but we say some people, okay, are resilient, which I talked about, you know, some people can bounce back. But look at the extreme right. It says post-traumatic growth. Some people think because I had a cancer, now I am better. If because I had a challenge, now I am post-COVID, I'm stronger. I am that kind of a person. I call it post-traumatic growth. They call it post-traumatic growth. In fact, in case of many people, they have seen after a challenge, their father is dead. Now he's the family person. She can now manage better. Before, she was depending on family members. Now, nobody, now she is managing. See, that kind of person. The final idea, last slide you might say, is this. Uh, it's called, according to this book by Antifragile by Nassim Khaled, he said, there are three kinds of people. There are fragile people who are damaged by disorder. Anything uncertain happens, and they say, oh my God, what will happen? like a fragile uh, glass, glass, it, uh, it breaks, you know, like on their forehead written, fragile, like a luggage and in, a, in, a, in an airplane, they give it, they say fragile, it's like that, you know, uh, but you don't have to, and there are resilient people. Finally, there are anti-fragile, meaning you go through a problem, you become not fragile, not resilient, even, stronger, even better. It's like when you do exercise, let's say I'm developing my muscle, bicep muscle. If I do exercise, I will have some pain here. Then I take some rest from the pain, muscle grow. You know that. Don't do extreme exercise. Then you will, uh, you know, your muscles strain and you may have muscle damages. But if you do an uh, optimum amount, your muscle will be. That's how Arnold Schwarzenegger became Arnold Schwarzenegger. He weight lifted, he did so many other things, and he muscle grew. Do you understand? Instead of negative, it became positive. He gave his body a lot of pressure. All muscle builders, all bodybuilders, 
give the body a lot of pressure. You and I don't give that pressure. That's why they have big muscles. Do you understand? So like that, become anti-fragile. This is the last, second last slide. So fragile are like that. Always afraid. Uh, sort of Democles, you read that. There is an interesting story. He was so afraid. That, oh, it may fall, it may fall, it may fall. He died. He said, kill me. I cannot take it anymore. But you know about Phoenix, the idea of Phoenix. I'll become zero, zero to hero. Zero, hero. My life, I had several times like that. It's okay. Even if I'm zero sometimes, I can always rise up and become a hero. And finally, I talked about this anti-fragile. You know the story of Hydra in Greek uh, mythology. If you cut one head, two heads come. If you cut two heads, four heads come. So it means you become stronger. That's it. Thank you very much. I think only 10 minutes left, 11 minutes left for question and answer. You guys decide who you want to give um, um, uh, you know, prize and everything. But I thought these three ideas, First is how you respond. Respond only what you have control. That's the first thing. Don't think about where you don't have control. Just do things you have control. You don't lose your energy for something that you don't control. This is number one idea. Number two idea, be positive. In this case, that means recover and, and avoid negativity. So start working. And number three, become anti-fragile, meaning because of neg from the negative, being out the positive and even bigger, stronger, better. So that's my presentation to you, all the students, all members of BSM. Thank you. Thank you for listening. I took a bit longer than I thought. It always takes longer. I'm sorry about that. Thank you. I'm listening now. Uh, Any questions? Uh, okay. Uh, thanks, uh, Kazi Mahmood Ahmed, sir, for this great session. Uh, it was one of the most interactive and lively session ever I attended on Zoom, actually. Oh, uh, it was no, also... Way, actually, <laughs> oh, thank you, sir. So I believe our all participants will, will be highly benefited from this good session. Uh, as I promised earlier, now I'm going to address the participants' question now. Uh, so already the comment box are flooded with so many, co so many questions. Wow. Wow. So Please I'm, send me later. Okay, okay. Comments, okay. Like I, I'm going to pick few of them because as we don't have enough time, so correct, that's correct, right. correct. first come correct. first serve actually. So I yes, already short, shorted out the question. Okay, uh, from Istiak Hussein, uh, he asked on questions, sir. I have a question, sir. If I want to intern outside of Bangladesh, may I do? Now I am finally a running student of tourism and hospitality management in Daffodil Institute of IT under National University. So actually he wants to do his uh, intern in abroad. So as he's a student of the, uh, I mean, a student of Daffodil International sure. IT. Understood. Okay, very quickly, even uh, my former students at North, South and elsewhere, I've seen them. One of my students was Chaudhary Kasset. He did internship that time from Bangladesh. He went to Malaysia to do internship at a shipping company. So these are always possible. But I want to ask you one thing. In Malaysia, do you have, um, Isaac, Isaac is a um, world's largest uh, students network globally. Just as yes, BSU is, uh, yes, you yes, have Isaac. Have Isaac. Yes, yes. Yeah. So I would say this individual, if you can become a member of Isaac, their whole purpose is to arrange internship globally. So my answer is done. If not, do networking, you know, uh, and uh, try to reach out through me, through others, how you can uh, uh, do the internship. But hospitality is now going through the worst situation, you know. They are, they are, that's the resilient mind. That's your uncertain mind. Because, you know, this, this, the hospitality industry, hotels are begging mostly. So you have to use your three ideas that I talk about. Huh? You apply those. If one person will get international, this internship, you will get it. You keep in mind, even if I said this is more challenging, be comfortable being uncomfortable make all efforts, but Isaac, member of Isaac, find out Isaac, this would be one very creative way. Thank you very much. I can share uh, many uh, ideas later. Uh, okay, sir, thank you, sir. Uh, I wanna pick one more question, like just just now, one of the brother, I think he registered his name uh, with Galaxy J3 Pro. I think he hide his name. Okay, yeah. excellent presentation. My question is, is there any relationship between negativity thoughts and laziness towards our daily works? 
If yes, how do we overcome laziness to our daily works and increase our work efficiency with positivity? Sure, you use the word two words, negativity and laziness. Two negative words of, you answered your own question. I mean, the word lazy is not a positive word, right? So it is negative, so that answers that. However, there are creative laziness too. For example, when I have a deadline of some report, I, I intentionally procrastinate. I become a little bit lazy. I, I think in my brain, oh, what could be, I don't immediately write. I do the outline, then I, I intentionally become a little lazy. That lazy is not bad lazy, that's good lazy. No? So there are two types of, two types of laziness. Um, sometimes just, just relaxing can be a big source of ideas, you know? If you only work, 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 busy, 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 not a good idea. That's why meditation is so important. That's why prayer is so important, you know? Uh, because you have free your mind from the world and you just pray. You just, you and your God, you know, you and Allah. So all those things. So coming back, but coming back to the second part, I think what I feel is that... Um, uh, positive people use laziness quick, creatively, as I do, and then they one thing they don't do is become lazy, because in their identity they say, "I am hardworking, I am creative." So if in the morning you get up and you feel, "Oh, mm, I don't feel like well today," say, "Oh no, I am not going to say this. I am a." I'm a good performer. I'm a good student. I'm a capable person. So from that, in Bangla, we say, you know, Armura Bhanga. Armura Bhanga is normal, but they say, I'm not feeling well. Don't be led by feeling, rather led by your identity. I'm anti-fragile. I'm positive. I can do it. This is your identity. So whenever negative thoughts come, Draw on your identity and change your behavior. Laziness, less good to your palabe. The laziness will go away from you because identity is more powerful than your feeling. But unfortunately, many people are feelings led. When you feel good, and no, 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 only then. But from good feeling, a bad idea you accept. From good feeling, you do a poor negotiation. You 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 are supposed to study, but you're feeling good. Your friend says, let's go and watch a movie. Let's go have a walk. You say, okay, let's go. Because you're feeling good, you said yes to your friend. Wrong. You should have studied that time. You have slept for those hours. It's already two, one o'clock, two o'clock. You're still talking, enjoying. You're feeling good. Wrong. Your identity is, I'm an early riser. If I rise early, I can deliver better. I found that in 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 the persons I was dealing with, was it uh, Alumgir or someone at six o'clock you are awake, eh? and then so on. And I was uh, you know chatting with him at six o'clock in Malaysian time, six a.m. So identity leads to behavior, leads to feeling. So after after you depend on identity. You become feel good. Yeah, I got up early. I did my work. But what if you took your feeling, you slept more, and then you get up, you don't have time to do everything, and you feel bad, and then and the whole day is lost. So that's it. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, sir. Uh, do do we have time, sir? So if we have time, we, we can pick on. No, more no I, I, I have, I have, I have, I have two, three minutes. I don't, I don't mind. Okay, then maybe uh, we will pick one more question. Yes. Then maybe we're gonna finish it. Okay, uh, the Pramtik Chomok he asks uh, actually a very relevant question nowadays, which we are feeling, I mean, facing. Nowadays, there are many negative news around us in social media, television, etc. How can one recover from them? Thank you. It's a very relevant question. In my presentation, I also told you yes. what I forgot to tell you is that the last time I watched TV, you'll be surprised to know, is in March. Maybe first week of April, but not after that. I know many of you think, do you, 
Do you want to me swear by Allah? I can swear that too. I did not go to a TV room in my house uh, because I'm on a news diet. Somebody are on food diet, I'm on a news diet. 90% of the time I see there's negative news. But do you know what, that I know every major news? Because in Bangladesh, I go to Daily Star app, I go to Prothomalo app, and then I go to CNN, Al Jazeera, and BBC. Daily, two, three times, after four hours, I go. So I am updated on the major news that matter. And I'm not taking those who is crying, whose father died, whose son died, I'm sorry, I'm not saying any negative, but I'm not interested to burden my brain with that. When am I gonna do my creative work? Why have you invited me to speak? Because you probably know I will do a good job of sharing some ideas. So stop watching news. That's my first, but not many people are like me. You have a habit. I, have, I, I don't have any bad, this kind of bad habits of watching news. First this bad news, then another channel, then another channel, the same news again and again differently. I am reading books. I am watching videos on YouTube for my learning and development and so many other things. So develop habit. Say that whenever I go to TV, there's an alarm I will keep. I will watch for five minutes, only during little bit of news, main news, and then I'll go. You have so many other. So do something else. Develop your positive habit. When you want to uh, watch news, what else do you enjoy doing? If you enjoy uh, reading, do that. If you enjoy talking to a friend, talk. That is even better than looking at TV. TV, I call a stupid box. It keeps you there and they talk and you listen. It's an advertisement, your brain, everything they are gaining. You are gaining very little, I think. If you watch TV to learn English, fine, thank you. Watch CNN, BBC, Al Jazeera. You can learn English. That's what I did in my early younger days. But other than that, I find very few, I, I work with newspaper companies, but I, I do not subscribe them even in my house. Very dangerous statement. Many people will not tell you. I do not subscribe to any newspaper. Only online I read because it's not only a waste of money, it scares me. Look at the front page, look at every page, except for entertainment page where there may be a picture of a sexy girl or, or in the sports page, there may be some sports news. But I, I, if I want to see some pictures, I have many other sources. I don't have to pay money to read the news. No, 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 I'm sorry. This way, from a zero, from very difficult circumstances, I'm getting better and better. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm nobody, I'm simple, but I'm so happy who I am. I was a village kid. From there, I'm a global person now. I go anywhere in the world and I do prison. I, I taught class in Denmark in 2000, uh, uh, what is it, uh, wait, wait, 2011, MBA program, Scandinavian Business School, Scandinavian Business School. I was in Oxford University 2006 in Orange program, I don't talk about it much. I was in California, did a leadership program for youth. Long story. All because I was clear, I had focus that I don't want to waste time on news. Thank you, longer answer, but thank you for asking that question. Uh, <coughs> okay, sir. sir, if you have time, can you ask all of Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, fine, fine, fine. Okay, okay, thank you, sir. Maybe the last one, because the next speaker has to come now. <laughs> Okay, no problem. We actually are waiting for him. No problem. When once sure. he come, we'll let you know, inshallah. So, uh, okay, our own brother Nasim Hussain, he asked a very a simple question, actually, a direct question: uh, Why we are calling it new normal? What cause will make it new normal? Actually, you know, our theme is something sure. like this. That's why he asked, like, why we call it the new normal this time after uh, post-pandemic okay. era. Thank you, thank you. This is, this is a good question. Um, what is normal? Before pandemic, coronavirus pandemic, what was normal? We hug, we shake hands, we don't wear masks. But now people are going to the offices, people are going outside, 
do you see I go outside wearing even you know gloves and mask and so this is normal everybody is doing that I don't allow anybody to come within three feet in Bangladesh maybe six feet I'll do it in the US so new normal means I was reading uh, the chief medical officer of UK government uh, that's BBC News last last evening saying our pubs, their pubs, where they will drink, you know, wine and you know anything, it's okay. They're Christians, they, they, they drink, and that's fine for them. Be open-minded for them. As long as you're, if you're Muslim, if you don't drink, fine. In Bangladesh, we are Muslims, but we import so much alcohol. I don't understand who drinks those alcohol. That's another question. I'll talk about it later. So, so now. Uh, they say, please go to the pub, not a problem, because they want their business to run. Pub is a cultural center of life in UK. People get together there. If they don't go to the pub, they die also. Meaning, so they say, okay, go to the pub, but behave in a new normal way. So what does the new normal? Keep three feet, six feet distance from each other. And... If there are 100 people can sit there before, the new normal is 50 people can sit or maybe 30 people one at a time. And each person can stay one hour and then you can go. So these are the new normal. Previous normal was as long as you stay, you can sit shoulder to shoulder. But no, no. But probably they cannot wear mask. Or they, how can they drink if they wear mask? I'm giving an unusual example because I read about it yesterday on BBC. You can read that too. So new normal means in Bangladesh, in universities, previously we used to train, take class face-to-face, -face, even training face-to-face. -face. But now new normal is Zoom. That's why you call new normal. Now I hope it's clear. That time... That was normal, face-to-face -face training. Now, Zoom training, everywhere Zoom or online training through Google Meet, through others uh, online. So that was normal. This is also normal. But that is old normal. This is new normal. But people don't say old normal. They only say normal. But for the new one, they say new normal. I hope it's clear now. Uh, okay, sir. Uh, thanks for your wonderful explanation. I think uh, everybody, every, everyone already understood. So we, as we have already so many questions, I think we should stop right now because as we don't have time. So I think uh, uh, later on, uh, what you said, uh, maybe we will pass the question to you. Uh, inshallah. Sure. Okay. Sure. Mm, okay. So before closing our today's session, I mean this this session, I would like to thank all participants, uh, our co-organizer, Bangladeshi Student Association, University of Malaysia. Uh, someone, or, can you stop? Mike? Hello, Kazi. Thank you very much. Okay, we stop oh, already. Naim, thank you. Naim, I couldn't recognize you. <laughs> You have Dali Jari Hue, I couldn't recognize you. <laughs> new normal, sir. New normal, ah, new normal. <laughs> I, want, I want you guys to send me uh, screen prints. Which is the first time you have to do it. It still happens. 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 I thought only 54. No, no. I, oh, no. 54 comments actually. Uh, 155. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Uh, so, do you have it, or I should take take those uh, uh, screen prints myself? Because I don't know. Let me do that eh? with the. <laughs> Maybe sir, uh, uh, we can send you inshallah. No problem. You, you can send it. You can send it. That's better, huh? By yeah, today. Maybe okay. we can send it. Yeah. By today, please. Uh, just a second. I mean, you, uh, so I'm sure you're. Uh, what shall I say? Your next speaker is yeah. already there? He already uh, in our meeting room. Okay, great, great, great. Yeah. So we go ahead. Huh? Okay, Thank sir. you. Thank you for Gali having me. Assalamu alaikum. Shariar, are you there? Wa alaikum assalam. Who's yes, voice? Sir, already here now, sir, sir. It's Rotary and Rotary Club of Dhaka Grad, your colleague president, Ronnie. 